Find a comfortable place to sit or lie down in a quiet place away from light and noise. Once you're settled, feel free to adjust your position if you need to take a deep breath. Fill your lungs and hold it for a second. Now, exhale and close your eyes. Let yourself relax. Let go of the superficial tensions in your body and let your shoulders relax. It's good to relax today, to prepare for learning English. Now place your awareness on your eyelids. You know that you can relax these eyes wonderfully. You know that you can relax these eyes so deeply that as long as you choose to, keep this relaxation, the eyelids will simply no longer function. And when you know that you have done this, keep this relaxation and give it a good try. Sure, they don't work. And notice how they feel. Really test them. That's okay. That's good. Stop trying and let yourself relax even more. The quality of relaxation that you have created in your eyes is the quality of relaxation that I would like you to let go of in your entire body. So take this relaxation and bring it to the top of your head and send it down your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Let go of every muscle, let go of every nerve, let go of every fiber, and let yourself drift much more deeply relaxed. There you have it. Now let's really deepen this state. In a moment, I will ask you to open and close your eyes. When you close your eyes, send a wave of relaxation through your body so quickly that you will allow the physical part of yourself to relax 10 times deeper. Want it and you will have it. Let your eyes open and close your eyes and really let go Feel your body relax even more. You are doing very well. In a moment, I will ask you to open and close your eyes again. At the moment you close your eyes, double this physical relaxation. Let it really develop in you twice as deeply. Let your eyes open and close. Deeper, relaxed. In a moment, we will do it one more time. And notice how this will happen all by itself as you learn how simple all of this is. Double it at least. Very well. Let your eyes open and close and let go. That's good. That's good. Now the body is really relaxed. So let's let the mind relax. That's really what we want to do. When your mind is relaxed, you can really achieve anything you can imagine within certain limits. Of course, a relaxed mind that will allow us to listen to this new English course and better understand its vocabulary. Let's go now. Olympic Games
cheering for my country. This means supporting or encouraging the athletes or teams that represent one's nation in a sport event. I was cheering for my country when they won the gold medal in soccer. What they were like in ancient times. This means how something or someone was in the past, especially in a very old period of history. I wonder what they were like in ancient times, when they lived in caves and hunted animals. They originated in ancient Greece. This means they started or came from a region in southeastern Europe that was the cradle of Western civilization and culture thousands of years ago. The Olympic Games originated in ancient Greece and were part of a religious festival. They were held every four years in Olympia. This means they took place or occurred regularly at an interval of four years in a sacred site in the Peloponnese where the ancient Olympic Games were held. They were held every four years in Olympia until they were banned by the Roman Emperor in 393 AD. To be allowed to attend, this means to have the permission or right to go to or be present at something. Only men, boys and unmarried girls were allowed to attend the ancient Olympic Games. Married women were barred and could be thrown off a mountain if they sneaked in. This means married women were prohibited or forbidden from entering or participating in something, and they could face a severe punishment or death if they tried to do so secretly or without permission. Married women were barred and could be thrown off a mountain if they sneaked in the ancient Olympic Games because they were considered impure and disrespectful to the gods. That's harsh. This means that's cruel, unfair, or severe. That's harsh. How can they treat her like that? The winners received olive wreaths. This means the winners or champions of a competition or contest were given or awarded a circular band made of olive branches, which symbolized victory and honor. The winners received olive wreaths and were celebrated as heroes in their hometowns. Pagan festivals. This means religious or cultural celebrations that are not related to or based on the main or dominant religions of the world, such as Christianity, Islam, or Judaism. The ancient Olympic Games were pagan festivals that honored Zeus, the king of the gods in Greek mythology. Cheating. This means breaking the rules or being dishonest in order to gain an advantage or benefit in something. He was caught cheating on the exam and was expelled from school. Using banned substances and tampering with samples. This means taking or using illegal or prohibited drugs or chemicals that enhance one's performance or abilities in a sport and altering or interfering with the tests or evidence that could detect or prove it. She was accused of using banned substances and tampering with samples and was stripped of her medals and banned from the sport for life. Gentrification. This means the process or phenomenon of transforming a poor or rundown area into a more affluent or desirable one, often displacing the original residence or changing the character of the place. 
The Olympic Games have caused gentrification in some parts of the city, where new hotels, stadiums, and shops have replaced old houses, parks, and markets. Olympiad, a period of four years between two consecutive Olympic Games, used to date events in ancient Greece and modern times. The 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris will be the 33rd Olympiad. The 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris will be the 33rd Olympiad. Olympic motto, the official motto of the Olympic Games, which is Sidious Altius Fortius, meaning faster, higher, stronger in Latin. It expresses the spirit of excellence and competition in sports. The Olympic motto inspires athletes to strive for their best and to cooperate with others. Olympic flame, the symbolic flame that is lit at the beginning of the Olympics and burns throughout the duration of the Games. It represents the continuity and connection between the ancient and modern Olympics. Before each edition of the Olympic Games, the flame is lit by the sun's rays during a ceremony held within the ruins of old Olympia in a ceremony that builds a bridge to the spirit of the ancient Olympic Games. Olympic Anthem, the official musical theme of the Olympic Games, composed by Spiridon Samaras and based on a poem by Costas Palamas. It is played during the opening and closing ceremonies and when the Olympic flag is raised or lowered. The Olympic Anthem was sung by a choir of children from different countries. Olympic Values the core principles and ideals that guide the Olympic movement, which are excellence, friendship, and respect. They promote the positive impact of sports on individuals and society. He demonstrated the Olympic values of excellence, friendship, and respect in his performance and attitude. Olympic Disciplines, the subdivisions of sports that have their own events and rules. Swimming is a sport, but freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, and butterfly are disciplines. She competed in three Olympic disciplines, freestyle, backstroke, and medley. Olympic venues, the facilities and locations where the Olympic events and ceremonies take place. They include stadiums, arenas, tracks, pools, courts, fields, and courses. The Olympic venues in Paris are expected to be ready by 224. Olympic symbols. The visual elements that represent the Olympic Games, such as the five interlocking rings, the torch, the flag, the medals, and the mascots. They convey the values and identity of the Olympics. The Olympic symbols convey the values and identity of the Olympics. Let's get started. Hi Jane, are you excited for the upcoming Olympic Games in Paris? Hi John, yes I am very excited. I love watching different sports and cheering for my country. Me too. Do you know when the Olympic Games started and what they were like in ancient times? Well, I know they originated in ancient Greece and were held in honor of Zeus, the king of the gods. They were part of a religious festival that lasted for several days. That's right. The first recorded Olympic Games were in 776 BC, but they probably existed much earlier. They were held every four years in Olympia, a sacred site in the Peloponnese. Only men, boys and unmarried girls were allowed to attend. Married women were barred and could be thrown off a mountain if they sneaked in. Wow, that's harsh. 
What kind of sports did they have back then? They had running, wrestling, boxing, chariot racing, discus, javelin, long jump, and a pentathlon, which combined five events. The winners received olive wreaths and were celebrated as heroes. That sounds amazing. How did the Olympic Games end in ancient times? They ended in 393 AD, when the Roman Emperor Theodosius I banned all pagan festivals, including the Olympics. He wanted to promote Christianity as the official religion of the empire. That's sad. How did the Olympic Games come back in modern times? They came back in 1896, thanks to a French nobleman named Pierre de Coubertin, who founded the International Olympic Committee, IOC. He wanted to revive the spirit of the ancient Olympics and promote peace and friendship among nations through sports. That's noble. How have the Olympic Games changed since then? They have changed a lot. They now include winter sports, Paralympic sports, youth sports, and many more events and disciplines. They also have a torch relay, an opening ceremony, a closing ceremony, medals, mascots, and symbols. They are open to all athletes, regardless of their gender, race, or status. They are also influenced by politics, media, and commercialism. That's true. There are many controversies and challenges facing the Olympic Games today. But I still think they are a wonderful celebration of human achievement and diversity. Don't you agree? I agree. I think the Olympic Games are a great way to learn about different cultures and values, and to appreciate the beauty and joy of sports. I can't wait to watch them and see who will make history this year. Me neither. Let's go and get ready for the opening ceremony. I heard it will be spectacular. By the way, do you know that the Olympic Games have been a source of many scandals and controversies throughout history? Really? Like what? Well, for example, the 1936 Olympics in Berlin were used by Nazi Germany to promote their propaganda and racial ideology. Many Jewish athletes were excluded or persecuted by the Nazis. That's horrible. How did the world react to that? Some countries and individuals boycotted the games or protested against the Nazi regime. For instance, Jesse Owens, a black American athlete, won four gold medals and defied Hitler's claim of Aryan supremacy. Wow, that's impressive. What about other boycotts or protests? There have been many. For example, in 1968, two American sprinters raised their fists in a black power salute on the podium to protest against racial discrimination in the U.S. In 1980 and 1984, the U.S. and the Soviet Union led boycotts of each other's games because of the Cold War. I see. That's very political. What about other controversies that are not related to politics? There are also controversies related to doping, cheating, corruption, or human rights. For example, in 2002, there was a scandal in figure skating, where a French judge admitted to being pressured to vote for the Russian pair over the Canadian pair. In 2016, there was a massive doping scandal involving Russian athletes, who were accused of using banned substances and tampering with samples. In 2024, there are concerns about the environmental and social impact of the games in Paris, such as gentrification, homelessness, and security. That's a lot of issues. How do you feel about them? I feel conflicted. On one hand, 
I think the Olympic Games are supposed to be a celebration of sportsmanship, excellence, and peace. On the other hand, I think they also reflect the realities and problems of the world we live in. I hope that the Olympic spirit can overcome the challenges and inspire positive change. I agree with you. I think the Olympic Games are not perfect, but they are still worth watching and supporting. I think they can show us the best and the worst of humanity and challenge us to do better. Well said. I'm glad we can have this conversation. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with me. Thank you too. I learned a lot from you. Let's enjoy the games together. Good job, everyone. You have successfully completed the hypnosis session. Now we are going to gradually wake you up. As you count backwards from 10 to 1, you will begin to feel more and more alert. 10. Your mind is becoming clearer. 9. You are starting to feel your body again. 8. You are feeling more focused. 7. Your body slowly wakes up. 6. Your muscles are becoming more energized. 5. You are feeling more and more like yourself. 4. You are feeling really refreshed and energized. 2. You are ready to return to your normal activities. One, open your eyes. You are feeling great. You are alert and focused. You are ready to take on the world.